Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the magic school bus. It was kind of fun for me to make this one because it kind of took me down memory lane because I remember watching this as a kid. And the only reason that I'm making this, by the way, just in case you guys are curious, why is he making it? Because I saw that they were actually redoing the magic school bus, the series, on the YouTube trending page. So I thought they might actually be kind of fun for, it to, for me to make this. And I think it's turned out all right. I'm hoping that you guys are great. I hope that you like the video. If you do, please do remember to smack that like button. I like making stuff from cartoons and movies and what have you. And if you guys have any suggestions for what else I should make, leave that down below. But without any further ado, I'm going to show you how to make this thing. So if you want to go on this magical journey, here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some stone slabs, some grey concrete, light grey concrete, yellow concrete, white concrete, black concrete. Quartz slabs, orange concrete, and some red concrete. We also need all of the other materials that you can see in the inventory right now. There's a yellow terracotta, blue stained glass, end rods, item frames, glass panes, and some buttons. So, once you have all of those, we can begin the build. So, we're going to start off by placing two stone slabs on top of each other on the floor. That's going to be one and two. We're going to extend that second slab to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll replace that first slab with a singular slab like this. We want to, on top of the first slab that we place, we want to place a yellow concrete. Right of that, a yellow concrete. Three quartz slabs. One, two, three. And then two yellow concrete. One, two. Now, place a row of white concrete behind the quartz slabs. And extend that row upwards by one like this. We want to place on top of the yellow bits, on the outer yellow bits, a white concrete with a black concrete inside. And that applies to either side of the two rows of yellow. On top of the black concretes, place additional whites and then connect them together using yellow concrete inside. We then want to place a row of quartz slabs connecting the two black concretes together at the bottom. We then want to place a row of yellow concrete directly behind the row of white and yellow at the top. And we want to extend that row outwards in each direction by one. And place an additional row of yellow behind this. Take the center block, which happens to be this one in the row that you placed, and extend it upwards by three. One, two, and three. And extend that third yellow left and right by three. One, two, three, and this will be one, two, and three. We then want to, on top of this row that looks very much like a T, we want to place a gray concrete on top of the end yellows. We want to place orange inside of that, and we want to connect them all together using a row of light gray concrete, like this. Now, we can start making a little bit of the bus's structure. So, you want to take the very first stone slab that we placed. It happens to be this one. And we want to go back from it by three with the grey concrete. One, two, and three. We want to then place eight stone slabs coming backwards. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place a row of three grey concrete. One, two, three. With two additional stone slabs coming back. One, two. You want to extend that stone slab across the back of the build by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on top of this row of stone slabs, we are actually going to add some additional detail. First of all, we'll stack a row of light gray concrete directly on top of the row. On the left and right hand sides of the row, we'll stack a red concrete with a yellow concrete coming inwards. We then want to grab ourselves some yellow terracotta and we want to place a yellow terracotta coming inwards from the concrete and extend the terracotta upwards by two. One, two, one, two. Connect it together at the top. Place on top of the yellow concrete two additional concrete. On top of the red concrete, place a yellow concrete followed by a red concrete. Place two orange on top of the red, one, two, and one, two, and connect those second orange blocks together using yellow terracotta left to right. 
place an entire row of yellow concrete directly on top of this, and that is what you want to so far have for the back of your bus. Continuing from the last stone slab that we place, which is this one, we want to move forwards by one using the stone slabs. Then at three with the grey concrete, one, two, three. Then eight slabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then three concrete, one, two, three. And we should connect back to the front of the bus. The bus is looking a little bit scary at the moment, but don't worry, it will look better. So now we are going to add more detail. We'll start on the left hand side of the bus. So you want to take each wheel of the bus. You want to extend the left and right grey concretes upwards each by one with a light grey concrete in the center. This applies to every single wheel so this isn't just confined to this side of the bus we want to have it on every side of the bus which is only two because we only have four wheels like this. We then want to take these two wheels on the specifically left hand side of the bus we want to go left of the front wheel by one the yellow concrete then two with the glass pane one two then we want to do a row of yellow concrete coming backwards to connect to the wheel and we want to move through it and place an additional yellow at the back the next row wants to be extremely similar. We want to place an additional row of glass where there is glass, and we want to place yellow concrete absolutely everywhere else, moving backwards, like this. We then want to take the, let's start from the left hand side, the back of the bus, and we want to go right of this row of yellow, we want to place one yellow, then seven grey concrete, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we want to place a row of yellow moving forwards. Then for the next row, going from left to right once again, we want to place one yellow, a glass, one yellow, two glass, one yellow, two glass, one yellow, two glass, two yellow. We'll end up with this pattern. Speaking of the pattern, we want to repeat what we've just done. So everywhere that you have placed yourself a yellow, place, an e place a yellow, and everywhere that you've placed a glass, place a glass. Now, for the next row, it's extremely similar. You want to place yellow concrete everywhere that you placed yellow concrete before, but where you place glass, you this time want to place yellow terracotta. And then place a row of yellow concrete directly on top of absolutely everything. And you will end up with something that should look exactly like this. Looking good. Now, to move to the opposite side of the bus, we want to repeat, literally repeat, well, kind of, what we've just done on the opposite side of the bus. The only difference between this side of the bus and that side of the bus is this lower window that we have right here. This wants to be yellow. So the best way that I can tell you to complete this side of the bus is to look forwards and copy what you did on the previous side. Excluding the window that we have down below, that does not want to be a window on this side. You see, the only reason that there is a window on that side is because, with it being a school bus and all, there is a door to get in the bus. And with there being a door, there's some glass. That's why there's some glass on the lower part of the bus on that side, but not this side. On this side, that's where the driver sits, so there's no need to be any glass or anything. But just copy what you did on the opposite side of the bus guys minus that window and you shouldn't really run into any trouble whatsoever. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've just copied it looking from the opposite side. I don't really have my plans in front of me. I'm not looking at them. That's what we have here. We can then proceed to once you filled that side in fill the entire top of the bus in it using yellow concrete like this. It shouldn't take you too long. There's not too many rows to fill in the bus. I think that there's about five not too many. And once we have filled in all of these rows, we can add the final details to our magic school bus. So we want to so far end up with something that looks exactly like this. There's front windows on the bus. This means that we want to fill these empty gaps in here at the front using glass. It's very kind of self-explanatory. You just want to completely fill in these empty areas using blue glass pane like that. On the back of the bus, we want to fill in any gaps that we have on the back, 
like this. And you know what? You might even want to leave this back door open and you might want to create a door. But the other reason that I'm also doing this is because you may want to add some stone slabs to the base of your school bus. You see, otherwise it's going to be open and you guys not be bothered about might not be bothered about it, but um, it's, it's kind of up to you whether you want to add a base to the bus or not. I'm going to just for the sake of it. But this really isn't meant to be used as a house or anything. This is much more of a statue of sorts. It's really just kind of like a fun little thing to kind of add into your world. And people might kind of get the reference of the school bus. Or they might not. We'll have to see. Going to seal that back up with glass. And that takes us on to the very final stages. So... It's up to you whether you do these next two things, but I think they may improve the bus. I'm going to grab buttons, end rods, item frames, and glass pane. In every single one of the wheels, I'm going to place a button. I'm going to place the button where there is the light grey concrete. You don't have to add this, but it makes it more obvious, and I'm not sure it even needs to be made more obvious, that those are indeed wheels. On the front of the bus, We'll also need orange concrete because we're going to place an item frame on top of the bottom front corner, yellow concrete, with an orange concrete inside, like this. And on the right hand side of the bus, we're going to add a wing mirror. So a wing mirror is just so that you don't crash into anybody that's kind of like trying to overtake you or what have you. This is positioned here. It's an end rod poking out the side of the bus in this position. With, oh, we'll, oh, we'll need grey concrete to place on the end of the end rod, below it, and then we want to place two item frames inside of this with glass panes in them, and that is the wing mirror. Add that, or don't add that, it's completely up to you. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Magic School Bus Complete. It's actually been a pretty difficult build to make look right because it's hard to scale the bus and it's also hard to get the features of the bus limiting yourself in a particular scale. But I really like it. I think it's fun. I hope you guys do too. And it doesn't take too long to build. If you have enjoyed the tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more content and click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Once again, comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. We have a vast amount of cartoon builds all around us in this particular corner of my world. Maybe one day I'll show them off to you, maybe in a separate video, but for now, I'm going to leave it a little bit of a mystery. If you want to check out any of those, you'll be able to find those in the card system and the description below in the Cartoon Builds playlist. It'll have everything that you might want to make and more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.